Hello and welcome back to another mod showcase. Today we will be doing a very special mod today. This mod is called Wilder Wild. And what this mod aims to do is up is basically enhance and upgrade 1.19 and add a bunch of stuff that was either scrapped or stuff that people speculated about or just stuff that maybe the update possibly just needed for it to be just a bit better. And of course, behind me, you see something that was scrapped, and we'll look into that right now. So as you see here, we have a huge, luscious birch forest with tall birch trees with branches, new flowers, beehives, and all of that stuff. It is very nice looking. It's very just lively. lively. And of course, we have hollowed out logs. This is kind of like a thing that's inspired from Minecraft Bedrock Edition, where there were actually fallen trees just like these, except now it's actually hollowed out. Yeah, we, can, we are going to be looking into the new blocks and flowers, so let's get into that. So as you see here, we have a bunch of hollowed out logs, all with their own variant of wood, whether that's oak, <laughs> oak spruce, birch, Jungle, acacia, dark oak, and mangrove. So they look very cool, and I'm sure, and I'm sure that they'd be very cool when uh, decorating. I'm not sh sure how I'd be able to fit them into my houses, but I'm pretty sure other people would be able to find that out. Next, we have actually shell fungus. Basically, these shell fungus, whether it's red or brown, will spawn on top of logs. I'm sure we can actually find. Yep, right here. They will spawn on top of logs just like that, and they'll basically just like, they'll just add a bunch of like atmosphere to it. I don't know. It's an it's a very nice addition. It doesn't really do much. I'm sure when you like break these, yeah, you just get the actual shell fungus instead of like mushrooms. But it's a very cool and neat addition that was teased in that concept art that never came to fruition. This mod also adds a bunch of new flowers and plants. Let's speed run them. Seeding Dandelion, Carnation, Glory of the Snow, Blue Giant Glory of the Snow, Pink Giant Glory of the Snow, Violet Beauty Glory of the Snow, Alba Glory of the Snow, Datura, and Milkweed. So there are a few other plants, but we will get to them in, a, in an other in a different part of this video. So, let's get to the next thing. So you may know, swamps were actually updated in 1.19, but the actual swamps... Okay, well, mangrove swamps were added to Minecraft, but the original swamps were kind of neglected. They were- nothing was really added, the only thing they really had going for them were frogs and fireflies. And frogs aren't really that special to the swamps since they already spawned in mangrove swamps. And fireflies, well, we already know what happened to the fireflies. So, this mod actually updated the swamp. They updated the type of trees, added mud patches, more types of plants, and they added something very special, which you might be able to see around. Oh yeah, they also added algae. Uh, is it algae or is it algae? I actually don't know. Um, so, al- <laughs> I'm just gonna call it al- Owl actually is very special because it can actually spawn slimes in it and when you go in it you actually get stuck in it so it might be a very nice it just revolutionizes slime farming so yeah, look at these slimes they are just spawning in them so yeah, maybe they might spawn in there they might spawn in there which they already did they might spawn in there yeah it's very cool as you see here, they didn't add like a new type of tree just for the normal swamp trees. In fact, they just actually, they basically just made a, a different type of the tree. Instead, instead of using oak wood, they used the mangrove wood along with the mangrove roots. So now it looks pretty cool. And they also have mushrooms. I don't know, I don't know if that was already in the swamp. I actually really don't know. But yeah, they also added mud patches like what I said. And of course, new plants, which let's get into. They added the cattail, the flowering lily pad, and pollen. 
The cattail will spawn in swampy biomes like these. And these were actually a highly requested like plan for 1.19, but it was never added. The flowering lily pads are supposed to like give variety to actual lily pads, and pollen is pollen. That's not that's not pollen, that's a grass block. That's a pollen. Looks pretty cool. You could probably use it for like some like gradient stuff. But yeah, it's just a nice addition. But of course, uh we also have the milkweeds. That spawn in here, so yeah. Let's go into the last normal swamp thing, which you could already see around. They added the fireflies. And look at them. They just shine. And when it's nighttime, oh, they look amazing. They're just so sparkly and cool. Like, it's just a amazing to look at them. And there is actually more to them. You can actually catch fireflies in a bottle, and they are there are a bunch of variants to fireflies, like a white like a white one. Or like let's do a red one. Yeah, a red one. Let's see a red one. Whoa. Yeah. It's very cool. There's just a bunch of variants of them. I'm not sure how you get the uh, other variants other than just these normal ones. But there's probably a way. Let me oh, there we go. But yeah, it is a really nice addition. Like, I see of why they added these for, like, you know, well, I, I see why they removed them, because they're poisonous to frogs, but all they could have done was make it so frogs didn't eat them! This is disgraceful! Anyways, you might have seen in the background this new biome. What this is called? This biome is called the Cypress Wetlands. It's another variant of Swamp. Except it's very luscious and bright, and also has a new tree, cypress tree. Cypress tree is like this kind of little look. It's very tall, but very slim. They also have a bunch of these little pond lakes saying that it's very nice and lively. It's just, it's very, I love it. It's absolutely delightful to just walk around in these without getting caught in the stupid alley. I'm gonna call it alley now. Yeah, they also spawn the fungus, which is pretty cool. But yeah, it's really just nice to just walk around in these and just have a good time, you know? And they're very sparkly at night, if you know what I mean. But yeah, let's go into the cypress one <laughs> a little bit more. As you may expect, cypress, cypress wood comes along with all the other wood stuff you would need, like leaves, planks, stripped stuff, the normal... Just the wood, the boats, the bow of chests, the doors, trap doors, the sapling. Also, I really love the sapling. It's very cute. Yeah. And I also really love, like, these doors. Like, they're very ominous. They're very ominous looking. I feel like they'd be perfect in, like, a witch's hut. Like, I don't know. I just really love them. And, of course, they added the chest boats since those are needed now for 1.19. Yeah. It's a very nice looking plank it almost reminds me of like some of the old very old texture of wood like all the way back in like what was it like early like back when the when they were still calling a cave game back when like it was just like this flat world where all you could do was just build blocks like that's kind of what it reminds me of except you know updated it was like it was pre-alpha not like in it before in death all that stuff but either way, yeah, this is very cool. So, we're gonna get onto a biome that got tweaked a bit. This mod slightly tweaked the taiga. What they basically did is they added a bunch of, like, more grass and more ferns. And it just kind of makes it kind of more lively, I suppose. Like, and they also added more coarse dirt patches, the more shell fungus... Like, it just looks a lot nicer. And of course, they got the hollow blocks, which can sometimes have moss spawn on it. It's a lot nicer looking. And they do the same thing with uh, the forest, actually. Yeah, with the shell fungus, the new plants, the hollowed out logs, the branches. Like, all that stuff just makes it just all the more lively. Along with pollen that spawns close to beehives. Or bee nests, sorry. But yeah, it's very, it's very, very cool. But yeah. let's go on to the second to last part of this mod. 
So, you guys may remember back in MineCon Live 2018 when you were able to vote for either the Savannah, Taiga, or Desert. And of course, the Taiga came on top, but the Desert and Savannah, you know, they lost. But this mod actually adds some of the things that the Savannah was supposed to have, but never became, never came to fruition. So, currently, the original things that were supposed to be added were ostriches, baobab trees, and termites. This mod does not have ostriches, sadly. But they do have termites. Termites. And look at them go. They spawn in these mounds, and they just eat up plants, trees like this, and it just makes it look horrible. It's definitely something that just kind of sparks some sort of, like, liveliness in the savannah. And, of course, over here we have this huge tree. The baobab tree. And, of course, there's a new type. It's a new type of wood. But it's very cool looking. And you're going to get a lot of wood. Yeah, it's, it's very cool. And I really do hope they add ostriches soon. Now... You may expect me to go over the Baobab wood, but no. I'll just, I'll give you a look in just a second, but first, you need to see this. This is chiseled mud bricks, which somehow got left out of 1.19, even though they added a new brick. But yeah, as you see, there's a little frog face <laughs> carved onto the block. It's very cute. It'd be very nice to, like, just see this around. Yeah, let's surround it with normal mud bricks. Yeah, it looks very nice. This is this is what the baobab wood looks like. It's very orange. Like it's more it's more orange than something like well, actually it's not really. I think bale I think acacia's more orange. But yeah, this is a very nice look. I really like it. And but yeah, I'm not gonna show you every every type that you could everything that you could make with it because you already saw that was Cypress and you could probably use your imagination. We are in the last part of this mod, and I just want you to listen for just a second. They added ambient sounds to the deep dark, and it's terrifying to be honest. Like, I'm gonna- sp I'm spooked. Like, it is very, very terrifying. But now, I'm gonna give myself some night vision. So I can actually see around this place. But yeah. It may not look all that different, but we will go over the first thing. This is a hanging tendril. They actually do work as sensors, except I don't think they attract uh, shriekers. Let's test it out. Let's go. Oh my god. Okay, let's get. Whoa. Okay. Yeah, it's. It's very cool. Jeez. I am terrified. Terrified. I'm a creative mode and I'm terrified. But yeah. The tendrils look very cool. And what they do do is. What they do do is they actually grow these osseous skull blocks. They kind of look like, well, they very look like, uh, they, they look like bone blocks a lot. Except it kind of looks more like a skulk block that's kind of like protected by bone. It's very cool looking, and I wonder what it would look like in, like, builds and stuff. Yeah, you will be able to grow it, but I don't think it really has a use other than being a building tool. Yeah, let's get on to the next thing. In this mod, they have added skulk stairs, slabs, and walls. I don't know. It's kind of just like, cool, I guess. And they also added echo glass. You can probably make this out of echo shards, I'm not fully sure. But yeah, it's very cool looking, it has a very nice sound. Like, like that's pretty cool. But yeah, it's a pretty cool uh, look. And I wonder, I do wonder, I do kind of wonder what it actually does if it's not just in a <laughs> just a decoration block 
if you're lucky enough and you're searching around in here and you find a chest you might just be able to find the new item the ancient horn this is a new weapon and what it does basically is when you blow it it you make your own sonic boom but as a very it has a very large cooldown, but I don't think that even matters because this thing is powerful. Let me just let me just demonstrate it. Instant kill on basic mobs like those. I'm not sure how useful it'd be against something like a um, Ender Dragon or Wither, but it's very cool. In creative mode, you can't just. You could just do that, but I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know. I guess you insta kill stuff. But yeah, it's it's a very cool addition, and yeah. They also added a new music disc, which I think you can go check out for yourself when you go download the mod in the description. All right, so the last thing I'm gonna show is actually a very small thing, but now wardens when they show up they can actually swim so let's just say you think you're so smart and you won't be able and you won't have to i don't know deal with the warden if you just go in water well i i hate to break it to you but uh it's gonna come after you now if you're in the water let me just turn this down now he swims at you he swims and oh my god you know what let's just do a special thing uh i really hope you enjoyed this video if you did uh maybe like maybe even subscribe um uh, uh maybe subscribe i'd really appreciate it man i i would appreciate it just so much oh, no. I'm dying. I'm dying. I'm blind i'm dying i'm blind and i'm dying oh no okay maybe let's not do that okay Anyways, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, uh, yeah, I already said it, but like and subscribe. I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna kill you. I, I don't fear you. You fear me. You have a good day.